Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of simple and compound probabilities. This is standard 7.6i in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 10 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Gabriel has some cans of soup in the kitchen. We've got tomato, chicken, cheese, potato, and beef. So Gabriel is going to randomly choose one can of soup. Then he will put it back and then randomly choose another can. So look at what we've got here. We've got one. This is a simple event right here. Just randomly choosing one event. Puts it back. So that's going to help because our denominator is not going to change when we're looking at how many total cans of soup we have. And then he randomly chooses another can of soup. So this is another simple event here. Just randomly, which soup will he choose? So what is the probability that he will choose? And look at this. Now we've got a can of tomato and then a can of cheese. In that order, can of tomato and then a can of cheese. But look what happens if you take a simple and a simple. Guess what that makes? Now we have a compound event. So a compound event is when two or more simple events are kind of mashed up together. And so we're dealing with a compound probability. So we need to find simple probabilities first, and then we'll figure out how we can turn those simple probabilities into a compound probability. So if I were just to draw a picture here, so I'm just going to put my, here's my tomatoes, uh, chicken, I'm going to put CK, CK, and then CK. I've got two cans of cheese, put CS for those, uh, and then two cans of potato, that's a P, that's a P, and then one can of Beef is a B. So obviously it looks uh, very simple here. I've got an array, a two by five array. So I've got 10 cans. And that's where it's gonna become very important that after we randomly choose a can, we're gonna um, put it back. So our, uh, our denominator or our total does not change. So let's look at our first simple event. The first simple event we're looking here is uh, choosing a can of soup that is tomato. All right, so let's take our first simple event, and that is going to be tomato. So let's just see how many I've got. One, two tomatoes. So I'm going to say two uh, tomato, and I've got 10 total. 10 total. So that's my first simple event. My next simple event is going to be after I put that tomato back or whatever can I get back, uh, I want to grab a cheese. So then my cheese, same thing, uh, different labels, but it's two cheese over 10 total. So how do I turn these two simple events into a compound event. This is the trick. If you want to find the compound probability of choosing first a tomato, then a cheese, what we need to do is we need to multiply. You take the probability of the tomato, the probability of the cheese, and you multiply. And if you had a third one, you would just multiply that. You just keep multiplying your probabilities. So two tenths uh, times two tenths. There's a Two different ways we can do this. We could just multiply this straight up. Two tenths times two tenths. Right, so that's straight across. Four over 100. Some of you might have noticed that we could have simplified both of those. Right, two tenths could be simplified if we divide both by two. One fifth. So that would give us a more straight up answer. We could do one fifth times one fifth, which equals one over 25th, which is the same as four 100, just not reduced. So our answer here is H.